At KDEX 2024, South Korean defense companies Korea Aerospace Industries, KAI, and Kia Motors introduced a groundbreaking innovation, a hybrid drone carrier vehicle that integrates Kia's K-151 Ray Colt military vehicle with KAI's compact and multi-mission modular UAV, CMMAV. This collaboration reflects the growing trend of developing military vehicles designed to enhance unmanned aerial systems, UAS, capabilities across diverse military applications. The CMMAV is a versatile and modular unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, built to perform a variety of military missions. Its modular design allows quick payload swaps, enabling rapid adaptation to mission-specific requirements. This UAV can be used for intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, ISR, communications relay, and even strike operations depending on the mission's demands. A key feature of the CMMAV is its ability to be launched from canisters, making it deployable across multiple platforms, on the ground, at sea, or in the air. The system also supports swarm technology, which allows multiple drones to operate in coordination, offering superior capabilities in complex operational environments. Equipped with a tube-based launch system and precision flight controls, the CMMAV is managed through an integrated command, control, communications, computers, and intelligence C4I, fire control system. Although performance specifics like speed, altitude, and endurance remain undisclosed, the drone's flexible, modular payload capacity suggests that it is well-equipped for a broad range of military roles. The Kia K-151 Ray Colt serves as the platform for this innovative drone carrier vehicle. Initially introduced in 2015 to replace older vehicles such as the KM420 and KM450, the Ray Colt entered production in 2016 and has been deployed in peacekeeping operations and sold to various nations, including Poland and the Philippines. The K-151 Ray Colt is highly versatile, with multiple configurations available depending on mission needs. These include the K-151 Weapon Carrier, the K-152 Armored Personnel Carrier, which can transport up to seven soldiers, the K-153 Armored Reconnaissance Vehicle, and the K-154 Artillery Observation Vehicle. Long wheelbase variants such as the KLTV-240 Shelter Cargo Truck and KLTV-243 General Purpose Cargo Truck further extend its adaptability. Weighing between 5,700 and 7,000 kilograms, depending on the variant, the K-151 Ray Colt is powered by a 3.0L Hyundai S2 V6 diesel engine, delivering 225 horsepower. The vehicle measures between 4,900 and 6,050 mm in length and offers a ground clearance of up to 420 mm, with a top speed of 130 km per hour and an operational range of 560 to 640 km. Its composite armor, composed of ceramic and polymer matrix materials, provides protection against small arms fire, and the vehicle can be upgraded to Stanag 4569 Level 3 protection. Armament options include machine guns, grenade launchers and anti-tank missile systems. This South Korean development is part of a broader global trend, with similar projects underway in Russia and the United States. Russia, for instance, is developing a multiple launch drone system, MLDS, based on the 6x6 Kamaz 5350 patrol armored vehicle. This system is designed to launch Lancet Kamikaze drones via transport launch containers, with the capability of deploying up to 64 drones in rapid succession. Like the CMMAV, the Lancet drones utilize swarm technology and are built for precision strikes, intelligence sharing, and coordinated attacks. In the U.S., GM Defense has partnered with Mistral Incorporated to integrate Uvision's Hero 120 loitering munitions into the infantry squad vehicle, ISV. This system combines the vehicle's mobility with a loitering munition capability, enabling precision strikes while also serving in reconnaissance and electronic warfare roles. The ISV can carry nine infantrymen, and the integration of Hero 120 drones adds increased tactical flexibility. The joint project between KAI and Kia Motors reflects a growing emphasis on multi-role systems that combine manned vehicles with autonomous UAV platforms. By integrating the Ray Colt with the CMMAV, South Korea is enhancing its military's ability to conduct coordinated operations in both offensive and defensive capacities. This technological advancement demonstrates the increasing importance of drone swarm capabilities and the role of modular, rapidly deployable systems in modern warfare. KDEX 2024 served as an ideal platform to unveil this innovation, reinforcing South Korea's position as a leader in defense technology. As unmanned systems continue to reshape the battlefield, this hybrid vehicle drone system will likely play a critical role in future military operations, 
both for South Korea and its international partners.